Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Saving Made Simple channel. My name is Bella and today we are going to be doing a budget breakdown. I get paid tomorrow, which is October 10th, therefore today is October 9th. I did just record this entire video and it turns out that after 15 seconds my phone ran out of space and stopped the video. Did I realize that on time? No way, I did the whole video. So we're gonna start all over, <laughs> which is okay because I kind of got a little messed up a couple times anyway. Okay, so today we are going to be working with um so the total amount i'm getting paid is 1582.29 the reason it's so high is because i did work nine hours of overtime i had a very very exhausting week last week um but today i had to call in because my son is sick and um have no fear my paycheck will not be overly affected by it because they've already scheduled me for overtime on Saturday. It's only a six hour shift, but I won't be missing that, that extra two hours so much. Um, and I'm hoping that next week I can get some more overtime anyway. So um, the amount I'm going to be actually stuffing because I don't work with the change, we're going to be doing $1,580. All right. So we're gonna start with the things that we know we have to pay and then I'll look at what bills we have coming out. So obviously I have to pay rent. Obviously I have to pay tax-free savings account, which by the way, spoiler alert, um, I will not be putting any money into my car fund right now as far as like maintenance fund because I did just take my car to get fixed. It did need a new actuator plus a muffler and um, patch and all of this other stuff. All in all, it ended up being $487. Um, and that stressed me out to the point where I was like, you know what? I have a tax-free savings account for this reason. So I called and took that money out. So I am not going to be stressing over that amount at all. Um, in fact, they will take money off if I paid in cash. So uh, I did, um, I picked up my car on Monday and I called Tuesday morning and the money's already in my account. So I'm going to go directly after work tomorrow and I'm going to drop that $500 off and they will take money off because when you pay with cash, they take some taxes off. So what's 487 now will probably be closer to 450 and that extra 50 I'm going to stuff because I want to use it for Christmas stuff. So uh, with that being said, let's move on. So then obviously my sister, we have the floating 30. Um, okay, let's see what bills we have. I know it's a base, like a heavy bill period because last week wasn't. Okay, so from the looks of sorry. <laughs> so from the looks of it, obviously we have um my phone bill, which is 95. Okay. We have money coming in on the 11th, um, which will be used for minis. We have the carbon rebate coming in on the 15th, which I will be doing a budget and stuff it. So you guys are going to be seeing this tonight, or sorry, tonight, and then I'll be doing my cash stuffing tomorrow. And then you guys will be seeing my um, large challenges on Friday. And then, of course, my uh, Monday minis on Monday. And then I will be doing a cash, uh, I guess, a stuff sorry, a budget and stuff it with the carbon rebate on the 15th. I am probably going to put that video up on the Wednesday. I don't know. Okay, we'll talk about uh, future videos in a minute here. Okay, so phone bill, check. Tax for savings account, check. Car payment. That's 235. Life insurance. That's 55. And then my car insurance. And that's 145. And then we get paid again. Okay. So, and then I need to put credit card payment. My credit card is so not where I want it right now. Um, I'm going to put 300 on it. That'll help with gas. And then that'll also help with any bills that are coming off of it. Um, and then I think just fees, 
for my bank account. Let's do a quick add up here. So we got 150 plus 100 plus 30, 95, 235, 55, 145, 300, and 10. Whoa. Rent, tax based savings. Oh, I do, I did realize what I forgot. Uh, my babysitter. <laughs> Um, so my babysitter, oh, this is a whole other thing. All right. So my babysitter, I didn't have her on the 23rd. I didn't have her on the 24th. We had one, two, three, and my mom was off all last week. So three days times 15 is 45. Then we'll do an equals plus 45. Okay. So we got one, one, six, five minus 1580. So that means we have 415 to work with. All right, so I'm going to start with groceries. Um, so this weekend, obviously, it's it's um, Canada Day in no, <laughs> it's Thanksgiving in Canada. And um, I volunteered to make scalp potatoes for a mm, main main course and then I've offered to make an apple crisp for the dessert portion um, I don't have anything I need to make the apple crisp but I do have everything I need to make the scalp potatoes so I'm gonna have to add a little bit of money to my grocery budget so I can get the stuff I need for the apple crisp I think I need like oats I need sugar I've got the cinnamon and I've got nutmeg but I do need brown sugar and I do need apples so I'm going to do, normally I was going to do 150, so I'm going to do one, I'm going to do 180 for groceries. I'm so sorry, my cat has found some stuff to play with. All right, and then dine out. I'm going to budget just $30 because it's Thanksgiving. I have no reason to be eating out. <laughs> um, pets, I'm going to budget $30. I think I only need dog food. Kiddo, I'm going to be budgeting the regular $20 because hockey cards just started and he's already going crazy for them. And then personal, I'm going to budget $20, which will probably be going towards hockey cards as well. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that. I'm not putting any money into my... Um, sinking funds right now because I do have that money coming out on the the 15th next Tuesday whenever that is and I'm, I'm going to use that money toward um, sinking funds um, let's add this up so we have 180 plus 30 plus 30 plus 20 plus 20 so we got 280 minus 415 we have 135 left okay so what I'm going to do with this 135 is I'm going to put um, into savings challenges we've got large which I'll put one uh, 15 and then minis we'll put 20 and then We'll do plus 45 with my Advanced Canada Worker Benefit, which comes out on the 11th. So we're going to be doing 135 minus 20 is 115. Okay, so that'll leave us with zero. So let's do a quick um, what we're going to be withdrawing. So obviously we're going to be taking 415 out. So we're going to do 51, 20, 40, 50, what? 20, 51, 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay. And then dine out, we'll do 20 and two fives. Pets, we'll do 20 and two fives. Kiddo, we'll do four fives. Personal, I'll just do a 20. And then for this, we'll do, I feel like I don't have a 
any, let me look. I feel like I had to take a lot of, I think there's a lot of fives in here. Let's see. Actually, you know what? It's not too, too bad off. It doesn't look like, okay. So I'm gonna do um, 150 and we'll do 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 90, 5, 1, 5, 10, 15. And then this 20 here, we'll take that out. But on the 11th is when I'll take out that last. And um, we'll just take this out in fives. Two, three. Okay, so we have 50, 20, fives. So for 50s, we've got one, two, three, which is 150. 20s. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got 11, which is 220. Fives. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 5 times 19 is 95. Man almighty. So that should be 415. Hmm. 51, 20, 40, 60, 80. 25, 30, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 50, 70, 90, 110. That would be it. 50, 70, 90, 110. 50, 70, 90, 110. So there's just one five here. <laughs> okay, 115. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen times five is sixty-five. So let's just count these again. So fifties, we got one, two, three, oh. I know exactly what it is now. It's because I had too many 20s here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now it's right. It's right now. I'm just going to move on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to end the video here because I've it's late enough and I've already messed up enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to move all of this information to a clean page in my budgeting book. Um, getting pretty close to the end of the book, which means we're getting pretty close to the end of the year, which is like crazy. Feels like it was just July. Um, <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be moving all of this information over into this part. And then um, if you guys would like to join me tomorrow, I will be doing my um, my cash stuffing. And then uh, either Friday or Saturday, I will be doing my large challenge stuffing. Right now I'm focusing on the Happy Halloween book by April on a Budget. And then I will be on Monday doing my Monday minis. Before I go anywhere, I do want to show you guys this though. So this is my newest baby. Um, I love playing Saveopoly, but I really wanted something that was more relatable to everybody. Um, because there's just, there's so many like Saveopoly boards out there and it's so hard to pick one because they've all got different values and it's really hard to find something that like resonates with you and makes it fun for you to play so i made this one here and what this one is is all of the properties are made of some of my favorite youtube cash budgeters so um hopefully on this list some of these are are some channels that you guys watch as well um i'll go through them really quickly so we've got busy girl budgets stuff and budget fancy dollar cash and coffee budgets budget better life saving with grace a little love it all strawberry money Savvy Budget Girl, Jordan Budgets, Thriving in Chaos, The Aesthetic Dollar, Budgeting Just Because, Can Do Budgeting, um, Baddies and Budgeting, Leah's Life in Envelopes, Donna Powered by Creativity, 
Gen X budgets, budget your life, Canadian finance journey, April's on a budget, and then my own channel because I want to include me too. Um, so all of these channels are channels I personally watch. That's why I include them in my challenge. Um, it's not saying these are the only channels I watch. It's just like when I was kind of thinking of the 22 I needed, those were the ones that kind of came to me first. I kind of went through my subscriptions, kind of went through who I've watched most recently, and I, I just kind of picked, um, I put them all down randomly. But yeah, like there is no minimum or maximum that of subscribers or anything. There was no limits that I looked at. Um, I've got some pretty small cha cha channels on here and I've also got some pretty large channels on here. I've got some people who are more known in the um, cash stuffing part and I've got some that are more known in the Etsy challenges part. However, they all have YouTube channels that they are all active on and that is why they've made this, this, this challenge for me right now. So um, the I've changed a couple things from like a normal monopoly. So instead of this being the taxes, I've got the subscription fees due. Um, and then the community chest, we are gonna be rolling two dice, multiplying the dice and saving that amount or $20. But because it's a community chest, you have to choose before you roll. So if you're like, ooh, what are the chances I'm gonna be saving more than 20? Then you can think, okay, well, um, I don't think I'm going to be rolling double sixes today. And if you do, sucks to suck. <laughs> but then for the chance, um, we're going to be doing a roll again. If you roll an odd number, you save $5. If you roll an even number, you save $10. $5 is odd. $10 is even. That was pretty easy. Um, then this one here. So if you, this is basically your go to jail. So you've experienced an emergency, but you have no emergency fund. Go into debt. And that will be over here. So the only way to get out of debt is to pay $15 or roll a double. Um, yeah, so I've, I've had a lot of fun with this. It did take a lot of time, but I had a lot of fun making it. It is available now on my Etsy channel. Etsy, I even almost said store and I corrected myself the channel. It is now available on my Etsy store. You can get it as a PDF file or you can have it shipped to you by me. Um, if you get it shipped to me by me, there is a better chance that you're going to get a couple freebies. I do have a lot of scratch and save challenges that are ready to go. So I might even throw one of those in with every order of these for a little while. We'll see. There's no promises, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. So there's that. Um, yes. Yeah, so join me tomorrow and I will do my cash stuffing and then we will go from there. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.